Since Salesforce.com's Dreamforce conference ended about a week ago, one of the main topics I'm hearing discussed in all my circles is the validity of Salesforce.com as an application development platform. In my opinion, you know, one of the most important things about a platform is how easy it is to get started using it. Uh, if the initial experience is simple uh, and you don't need to download and install a bunch of servers, set up virtual environments, configure and learn complex development tools, then you know, it's worth taking a look at. In the following video, you're going to see that I went from absolutely nothing installed to having my own development environment uh, in just a few quick clicks. So let's take a look. What I did is I went to the developerforce.com uh, slash sign up website. You're presented with this very simple form, sign up for your free developer ecosystem. And you'll see I enter all my contact information, my details, etc. And uh, just go down and click the sign me up button. Screen uh, works away for a minute here and you're presented with a thank you screen. Uh, in a few minutes, you'll receive a activation email uh, for your free developer edition account. Uh, if I just quickly switch over to my email, it only took uh, a minute, and here I am. I've got a developer edition email with a URL that I click on. You know, it wasn't the prettiest HTML email, but you know, I think they can improve that. Anyway, click on this link, and go back to my web browser. I'm presented with this scheduled maintenance notification. Uh, anyway, um, back to the Salesforce logon screen. I enter a password for the first time, provide a validation question, and click Save. And you'll see that's all it took. Here I am. Boom. I'm in a brand new Salesforce development environment with information on how to build my apps, uh, key resources like events on Force.com Fridays, recommended apps, community resources, Q&A, you know, places where I can get templates for doing things, etc. If I click in the middle here under the, the quick links, you'll see you know, one of the first things um, is App Dev uh, Quick Start. I click on that. It prompts me how to build my first application. Uh, you know, I can enter information about it and it'll get started. I'm not going to do that right here. But, you know, again, in 30 seconds or less than a minute anyway, I was up and running with a brand new dev environment. Uh, here you can also see that I did get a nicely formatted HTML email that arrived a few minutes later that gives me getting started steps like that force.com Friday that I mentioned, links to documentation, etc. One of the other things that's really good coming out of Dreamforce is Salesforce has made 135 application development videos available. Now, since I cover Chatter, I did a quick search, and you can see in here there's about a half a dozen specific development topics around uh, developing Salesforce.com apps with the social aspects of Chatter integrated with them. I'd also like to point out one of the most important things about being a developer in the Salesforce ecosystem is the app exchange. So similar to the iPhone, if people are used to it, you know, building apps. This is building apps, but for your corporate environment, uh, where they have all sorts of things like uh, Evernote and Box and uh, time management tools and survey tools, etc. So if you're a developer, there's a great ecosystem for you to be a part of. So in closing, you know, I'd just like to say that my opinion is if you're an enterprise application developer, you owe it to yourself to take a few days and investigate Salesforce.com. They've made it really simple to get started, so there's no excuses there. Give it a try and evaluate for yourself if the opportunity fits your need and, more importantly, the needs of the customers that you're building applications for.